Coming up this week, we troubleshoot problems with our aging engine. Maybe the lid is leaking. That's what I was thinking, is there splits or cracks for air getting into the line somewhere? We discover a farmyard on the bottom of Atlas. And we climb 800 feet in the blistering heat. <laughs> Following on from last week's video when we decided to leave, we were all ready. Uh, things have changed. As you can see, there is literally no wind. The wind, wind weather window we had has totally gone. So we have to wait for another weather window. Good morning, everybody. Oh, my voice. I don't feel like I've done. So today, we're going over to Tobacco Island, just over there, seven miles. But yesterday, we just ran the engine for five minutes, and we noticed it's not sucking up as much water into the water stream as it should. And we know the bottom of the boat is extremely fouled with snails and seaweed, even though we're copper coated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dive down under the boat and I'm going to clear the little grill, which is the area that sucks the water into the engine. That needs to be cleared before we can weigh anchor and motor over there, otherwise the engine could possibly overheat. Oh, look pretty cool. Amazing. Definitely cleaner today. Yeah, it is. I tried doing this yesterday, but it was too dirty in the water. Too murky. So I just went in the water, cleaned the inlet underneath the water and it wasn't as foul as I thought. It was a little bit on there but it was okay. I just tested the engine now and it's still not pumping enough water so I don't know what's happened. We noticed it when we were going through the canal it wasn't pumping quite enough water as it usually does. Then we changed the impeller and now it's rubbish. We cleaned out the sieve didn't we? Cleaned the sieve, we put the old impeller back in. Just gonna check all the system to see if there's anything sucked up into there, like cardboard or plastic. It's just blowing through there. Blow anything out. That feels pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's coming straight from the seacock. Really blocking that. That's yeah. all. Let's see how effectively it is pumping. Sucking the water through nice out of that sieve, isn't it? Yeah. You saw it then, everyone. Maybe the lid is leaking. That's what I was thinking. Is there splits or cracks for air getting into the line somewhere? As soon as air getting in, it'll be leaking. Maybe we want to check, get rid of these old Jubilee clips and replace them. Just replacing the hose from the strainer that goes directly to the water pump. Took it off, blew through it, did seem foul, but... Mm. Put some Jubilee cuts on there first. Okay, just put a brand new hose on here, see if that makes a difference. It's a little long, but... Might knock it off and cut it a bit.
I tried to. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> but I didn't want to say. And uh, don't know if I can see much difference. The, the only thing left to do now is go out and test it. We've got a seven and a half motor, mile motor over there. Yeah. Test it doing now. Could be anything. End of the day, it could be. It's hot water cooled, so it could be totally blocked up with salt inside somewhere. Might have to get like a chemical or something. There might through. be nothing wrong with it. There could be nothing wrong with it. It so might be we just. <sighs> Don't know. We'll have to test it. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd only go over to that island out there, <clears throat> and it feels like we're going for a little adventure because we haven't. Well, we're in Shelter Bay Marine on the other side for a month and we've been here two and a half weeks, so it's been Liddy. Well, a long time since we've actually taken the boat out and gone for a leisure, somewhere leisurely, which is so exciting. Even, oh, I'm spitting at it, even though there's not much wind, but it's just nice, it's just motoring over there. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, different. Change the scenery, clean the bottom. Findings on the engine. Go. Uh, 62 degrees. Healthy. It's about 15 degrees down since we changed the impeller. Yeah. Really impressed. Look at this ship coming up. It's uh, got loads of sport fishing boats on there, and it's actually got a sailing vessel on the front of it. Three and a half miles to go before we get to the island, uh, so we should be anchoring, and then we'll take you into the gorgeous blue, not blue, clean, not clean water to clean the hull. We've arrived, anchored in about four and a half meters of water. We have a swimming pool on deck, special. The anchor locker is full of mud, fucked up. And this is it. It's lovely. Thank you, look. Yeah, this is it. Well, I still can't see the floor, it's not, not that clean. No, it's not. There's a hole in the bottom of the anchor locker. It's blocked. There it yeah. goes. There it goes. Sitting on the side of the hole now, there's fish down there. Yeah. Big fish eating the thing. Let's go and see how bad Atlas is. 
What do you think, Ed? This side's okay, so I brushed it. I could brush the other side, I didn't do. Scared? No. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there is quite a few barnacles on Atlas's hull, and we were surprised about this because she's actually copper coated. Very sharp, yeah. very sharp, like yeah. uh, they're like limpets. Yeah, and I'm going in my beard and everything. Uh. Little bugs crawl on my glasses. Oh, no. Right, stop filming that. I'm going to really crack on with this. And we... Yeah, we can't. Halfway through this job now, we've done one side. Right. That's hard work. Oh, crap on there, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of crap on there. A lot of crap on the propeller, I've never seen it like that before. Yeah. Really bad prop. Barnacles on the prop, I'll show you. So we should carry on. Things crawling all over me, these things. God knows what they are. They're quite annoying. Why are these things? Bugs everywhere. Oh, in my hair, my chest, all my ears. Yeah. Horrendous. Cutting my knuckles to pieces, I was under there. Gloves on instead. It's a prop and all the red done, really. Yeah. Check your work. Not very nice. Rather do it in clean water, but it's got to be done. Just clean off all the bugs. We are covered in little bugs. <laughs> oh, look. I don't know what they are. Yes. Look, they're all over my shorts. They're all alive. I can't see them. They're red, they're in the red. Yeah. I think the opportunity now to have a good scrubbing. The amount of fish down there, I fucking hope you see the fish down there below the boat. There's so many! They're all mentioned on the, the snails coming off. What were they, Luke? Those things. Snail feeding fish. They were snail things, weren't they, down there? On, yeah. on the hull. See, if you haven't got people to pay to, to go and clean your hull, then you've got to do it yourself. And this is what is into it. This is what it's like, you know that? Yeah. Going down there, getting bugs literally all over you, and then coming back up. <laughs> oh, that's part of the part of the juice. The bottom of the keel. Yeah, the bottom of the keel. And about an inch, inch of growth on there. Did you take it off? Yeah, I scraped it all off. And we're off. We're off to the beach to clean this dinghy in the tender underneath of the yeah. motor. So we'll show you how foul it is. Wow, I can't believe it. Two and a half weeks has gone from clean to this. It's absolutely insane. It's even got barnacles yeah. on this plastic prop. Yeah. You're ready to see what this is like. Two and a half weeks. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if you're so slow. Mm. Go early. So much crap. I just cannot believe it. Shocking. Mm. Shocking. It's, 
eight o'clock in the morning and just listening to all the uh, bugs in the forest. <clears throat> you can hear them, like a chorus of sounds. But they won't do it now. How amazing is that? Welcome to the island of Toboga. I've only got it totally wrong, but <laughs> welcome anyway. Just <laughs> give you a little beach. Oh, it's lovely. And the anglers look so beautiful. Well, it's about 11 a.m. and it's starting to heat up now. I brought my hat with me. It's a bit cloudy today. It's a bit overcast, which is good, keeping the heat down. Yesterday it was roasting. Oh, the glassing. <laughs> hey, fiberglass? Estamos arreglándola. Oh. Ah, oh, see. Sí. Yeah. Correct. Do you do fishing from here? Oh. Fishing? <laughs> yeah? See? <laughs> I'm going to get this job done now while it's uh, a bit cooler in the morning. This stuff's going to go off pretty fast. So what we're doing at the moment, we're trying to find a, a path that goes up into the mountains and then go loops all the way around down the north end of the island and comes back down to the beach where we're just at. We think it might be up here, we're not sure. There's only one way to find out, Mark. There's a local wild dog. This is a very local island. So oh. cool. This is so different. This is... Compared to what we've seen in Panama so far, this is the complete opposite of Panama and Cologne. Like village life. It's amazing. Proper village life. A few, yeah, With village. locals and windy streets and... Oh yeah. Wild, is it wild, the wild, cat, eh? wild cats and wild dogs. There's a wild yeah. cat stalking the chickens. Look. Hello, mister. <coughs> kitty, kitty. Oh, well, anyway. Did find the path. Hopefully this is it. Go. Let's give it a go. Poisonous frogs. Guaranteed they're poisonous there. Bright green and black. Got to move it on if we are in. But there's loads. They're everywhere. Hope you can see them. Let's pick one out. Too fast. <sighs> oh. I've been climbing now. 20 minutes. Oh, it's hot in here. It's a good job, it's cloudy. It's 
made it to a road. Oh, this what counts as a road. We go down at Tet Road. Going down road. Drink up then. Are you filming me twice in the second video you filmed filming me? Yeah? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Three quarters of the way up this path. Yeah, nearly to the top. Summit. Just keeps on going forever and ever, doesn't it? Yeah. We made it to the top, top, look. And what an amazing view. That was a hard climb. Walking down here and we had yeah. going back down a different path. Quite amazing this bit though, isn't it? Downhill. Downhill, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> smell of vision. Oh it stinks. Well the nest up there. Yeah, I don't think we should stay here. We're we'll gonna poo in our mouths. <laughs> stinks. You can hear a lot of birds. Yeah. This is turning out to be a bit of a horror movie. Maybe dead birds. Mm. Think of what we've left there. One of them like Concord birds, you said. Yeah. yeah. We also want to get back to the bottom now. Thinking me out a bit. Back in we head. We made it. Uh, the whole route back. Yeah. I just want to say this may be the last episode that's going to be on YouTube for a while. It depends on the weather for next week. We wanted to leave this week, but it was no go. So next week we may be leaving. Sticks of dead animals here. <laughs> Sticks. It does stink. <laughs> This could be the last episode on YouTube for about four or five weeks because we might be heading off to the Pacific on Monday. If it is, don't forget about us and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Stinks. <coughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>Thank you so much to all our amazing supportive patrons for making this crazy adventure possible. 